Hi everyone, Karee here with your weekly oracle card reading. This reading is for February 24th to March 2nd. And this week I decided to use the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins uh, oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. Um, I don't know why I, I chose this deck. I just chose it on, on instinct. I kind of, um, I haven't used this deck for a while. But they just called to me today so I decided this is what deck I was going to use this week. So I'm just going to shuffle the cards and I'm going to ask that all of that nature ener energy as well as, you know, any messages that the angels have for us, um, that they just come and they surround us and they give us any of the messages that we need. And while I'm shuffling my deck, I have a really interesting story for you guys. Um, last week when I was doing the readings, one of, um, in the middle of the week, we had the, that flower card, um, saying, you know, to bring flowers into your space and environment and, you know, flower, flower energy was very important on, what day was it? On, my, my deck is shuffled by the way, so I'm just going to set it down so I can tell you the story. Um, on Wednesday... I had a English lesson at one of my, my, um, at my work. I teach English to Japanese, Japanese students. And one of the girls who's one of my students is a psychic, believe it or not. Like, it was just a coincidence. It was so cool. But anyway, so, um, she came into class. And before she came to class, she went to the flower shop and brought a flower in. So I was just, it was just the angels kind of telling me, hey, remember about that flower, flower power, basically. Um, so it was just interesting how, you know, things, you know, different signs here and there and how things really kind of make sense and, oh, you know, it, you, you get that feeling like, oh, wow, yeah, you know, the reading was accurate or it, the energy is you know, going the way that it's going or flowing the way it's flowing. So I just thought it was really interesting. So I wanted to um, share that story with you um, to just say, hey, you know, it was really meant to be, um, to work with flowers and to be around flowers and that, that elemental energy, I should say. But, all right, anyway, so I'm going to move this and I'm going to... Draw the cards for the week. That's for Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday. And this one looks like it wants to come out. For a weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, so for Monday and Tuesday we have protection. And it says, you, your loved ones, and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. So... I'm getting two messages from this. The first message that they're saying is, of course, what the card reads, what it says, that you're protected. But they're also saying your plans are protected. The thinking and the thoughts that you have, the ideas you have, they're coming from heaven, and they're, they're protected with this energy that things are going to be a go, go, go. That it's positive energy, work with that energy, and go with that energy. Go with the flow. Things are um, protected. They're surrounded by light. So go with those ideas. Go with the the, um, the new ideas that you're coming coming into. No, um, I can't speak. Go with the new ideas that you've been thinking. Go down the different path if you've been kind of struggling between. Well, should I keep going down the same thing, doing the same thing, or should I try something new and go down the new path? Try that new path. Go with your gut. And remember that no matter what, your, your decision is going to be surrounded with love if you ask it to be surrounded by love and protect it as well. The other thing that they're telling me has to do with an environmental factor, that we're not doing enough to protect this world, to protect the earth, to protect our, the resources. Go organic. Stop eating meat. Stop, stop you know, consuming dairy products. Because it's not helping the animals one bit, and it's not helping us one bit either, since our bodies are not really, we've been adapted to eat all of this animal protein and, and whatnot, but 
it takes away from the calcium and magnesium from our bones. So, you know, we're getting animal protein, but it's taken away very valuable stuff in our body in order to make the acidity in the blood of the animal. The animal protein is too acidic for our body. So, in order for it to be absorbed in our body, the protein to be absorbed in our body, our blood has to take out calcium and magnesium from our bones, and eventually it's going to lead to, op um, ugh, gosh, I can't speak, um, osteo osteoporosis. Osteoporosis, sorry about that. Um, so, anyways, they're saying try to do more, to be more of an activist into being, you know, healthier when it comes to thinking about the environment and eating healthier, making healthy decisions, and being an activist as well for the rights of animals and the rights of the environment. So, that is Monday and Tuesday, but the whole message, that the, the main message I get, well, there were the two, the main message, one, is that you're protected and the ideas that you have right now are good, so go for it. They're surrounded by love and light. And then the environmental factor of protection. Okay. Now we have um, Wednesday and Thursday. Explore your options. It's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to, to make changes. Okay, so right there is what I had said in the card before. That if you're thinking about going down a certain path or a different path, take it. Explore the options that you have. As I had just said, the angel said that everything, every decision that we're making, that we're thinking about, that we're ask, excuse me, that we're asking for light to surround, we're asking protection to surround it. Explore all the different options that you have. It's not just one road. It's not just one door. Remember, one door shuts, a window opens, or another door opens. So it's never you're never going to be boxed in or in a situation where you have no entrance or no exit. So don't think that you, you can't do it. So explore the different options that you have and make the changes. It's time to make the changes, okay? And then for the weekend we have stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. So again, go in and using those different, exploring those different options Stay optimistic. Don't give up. Don't quit. Everything is happening the way it's supposed to. Your miracle is going to happen. But if you quit before it happens, then you're going to be back at square one. So don't give up. Stay optimistic. Don't think negative thoughts because you're going to create those negative manifestations. Stay optimistic. Stay positive And ask the angels for help. Don't think that you need to do this all by yourself. Ask God for help, ask the angels for help, and they will be right there with you to help you, to guide you on the path. Okay? So that is this week's reading. I'm sorry it's kind of a little bit funky with how I'm talking. Um, for some reason, I always get a dry throat right when I'm going to be doing like a really important reading, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know why, but... Every time I usually get a strong message across from, you know, when the angels are really coming through, I hear a lot of voices at the same time, and my mouth always gets dry. So I do apologize for that. So I guess I'm just going to have to ask the angels for a little bit of help with that. Um, but, all right, so anyways, that is this week's reading. I hope you all enjoy. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Remember, you're protected. Your ideas are protected. Explore the options that you have. Make different options and stay optimistic. Don't give up. Angels are with you. I'm pulling for you as well. I send you lots of love, lots of light, lots of healing energy, and best wishes. Namaste.